winter. Some people call it the most wonderful time of the year, but for me, it's dark, it's dank, and it's absolutely freezing. Most of my mornings start off in what feels like the middle of the night, because yes, the moon is still out. And no, it's not even that early, it's only 6am. It's safe to say most mornings aren't the easiest, especially when I have to leave my cosy retreat of cushions, pillows and fairy lights. I quickly get changed into the warmest winter clothes I have to try and brace myself against the wind, the rain and whatever elements I have to face on that particular day. Once I've put on my hat, my jacket, my boots and my gloves and I'm all wrapped up, it's finally time to go outside and walk across to go and see the horses. Over here in England we don't have as many daylight hours so because it's still dark when I'm awake and doing the horses I usually use my phone as a torch so I can actually see where I'm going. Also we had a full moon on this particular day so I had a bit of moonlight which was nice so it seemed a little bit lighter and brighter than it usually is. Whenever I see the horses they never fail to bring a smile on my face although I might not have been feeling the exact same way first thing this morning when my alarm went off. Whenever I see them, it makes me realise how lucky I am to have them in my life and whatever time I have to wake up in the morning, it's 100% worth it. Even if it's cold outside, even if I spend hours looking after them, just look at Joey's cute little face. You can't tell me that that is not worth waking up at 6am for. First thing in the morning, the horses are always so hungry, they get pretty excited for their food so I try and make their breakfast as quickly as possible because sometimes they can get a little bit impatient. So first I make Joey's, he has three scoops of Bailey's Performance Balancer. This gives Joey all of the vitamins, minerals and proteins that he requires. Then it's time to give Mickey one and a half cups of low cal balancer and Casper gets two and a half cups of low-cal balancer because Mickey and Casper are definitely good doers so they are on a low calorie diet especially during the winter they love to pack on the pounds then it's time to give the donkeys their low-cal balancer they just get one scoop each because obviously the donkeys are a lot smaller than the horses so then it's time to grab some Bailey's light chaff I usually put around two to three handfuls in Joey's around one in Mickey's and around two in Casper's Adding chaff to my horse's food is so, so important because my horses are very greedy. If I didn't, they wouldn't just hoover their food up. They would pretty much inhale it. So the chaff means that they actually chew it properly. So anyway, here I'm adding half a tablet of pergolide to Mickey's food. And that's because of his Cushing's disease. So that's his medication. I always feed Joey first just because he is at the top of the pecking order. With my horses, when I give them their breakfast, I also like to practice some ground manners with them. So for example, I like to put my hand out and say back. Usually they'll either step back or they'll move their head out of the way. This also means that they're less likely to go and try and snatch the food or the bucket out of your hands, which wouldn't be great. And then lastly, we have Mickey. Now Mickey is the most hangry horse out of all of them he likes to shake his head around, squeal, neigh, does whatever he can to try and get my attention to let me know that he is pretty hangry. So lastly he gets his food and sometimes he gets so excited about his breakfast that he physically starts shaking his leg. I don't know why but he's just always done it. Joey also is going through a phase of just knocking his food out of the bowl and then eating it off the floor but you know what? each to their own. So once the horses are happy eating their breakfast, it's then time to lock up the feed room and finally walk down to the house because by now I'm usually getting a little bit peckish myself. Usually by now it gets a little bit lighter and we actually had a really pretty sunrise. So once I've taken off my coat and jacket, in goes the toast, on goes the kettle and yes I'm one of those people that have a coffee every single morning. I'm a coffee person. On my toast I normally have Marmite which I know can be a bit of a controversial spread. Let me know in the comments below if you love it or hate it. I feel like there's no in between. 
So this is a little bit embarrassing, but when I have my breakfast, I have it on the sofa and I call it my second bed because I've got my blanket, I'm all nice and cozy, but you know what? It's my little guilty pleasure and having my breakfast there gets me through the winter. <laughs> so once I've had that, it's time to put on my boots and get back out there to finish off the job doing the animals. By now, it's usually light, which is a lot nicer than doing everything in the dark. I can tell you that having to fumble around holding a phone trying to do something with one hand it's not the easiest of tasks so next it's time to feed the donkeys I don't like to feed the donkeys first thing in the morning because as we eventually go into spring if the donkeys are used to being fed when it's dark it means that when it starts to get lighter and lighter they will eventually want to be fed at 3 a.m. and being woken up by three donkeys braying at the top of their lungs at 3 a.m. is not very fun. So I always add a bit of water to the donkeys food just because they all are getting a little bit old now. Especially Bruno, he has a few problems with his teeth. He's had quite a few removed so he finds chewing certain foods a little bit more difficult. So adding the water makes the locale balancer nice and soft and squidgy, kind of like a porridge texture. This particular day, because it was so cold, the hose pipe had actually frozen so I couldn't put too much water in but I kind of didn't want to put too much in anyway because the water was pretty chilly but you know what? That definitely didn't stop the donkeys. I find this clip really funny because you can see Mickey's bucket just outside his stable because as soon as he's finished he kicks that out of his stable. He's like, nope, I'm done. I want some more food please. <laughs> Often when I'm walking up to the donkeys they like to serenade me here we have toby trying as best as possible to bray i don't know why but for some reason he has never been able to bray properly instead he just makes these funny squeaky noises but we still love him he's very cute it's always a little bit of a task coming to feed the donkeys in the morning because I have one hand where I'm holding the buckets, one hand where I'm trying to open the gate, and then I have Bruno and Toby trying to get out of the gate, so I have to make sure that we don't have any little escape artists on our hands. They also love to run up to me, chase me with the buckets. So first I put down Toby's just because he's um, top dog over Bruno, or should I say top donkey. Um, I also like to separate them a little bit just just so then when they're eating they can eat in peace they don't have to worry about the other donkey being very close to them and lastly it's time to give Willow her food so Willow always has her food in the donkey stable which is actually the size of two stables combined so all three of them fit in there really nicely so our donkeys are actually free range all year round so it means that during the night they can go in the field if they want to they can go in their stable if they want to they can go wherever unfortunately we can't do this with the horses just because their hooves are a bit bigger and the fields are a bit muddier and it's nice to give their legs a rest from the mud especially as some of the horses get quite prone to mud fever so their legs just get a little bit irritated by standing in the mud all day so by them going in the stable at night it just gives their legs a bit of a rest so once all the donkeys are happy having their food and their breakfast I'll do a few field checks so I'll have a look at all the fencing make sure that's nice and good I'll also check their water and today they had a bit of ice in it so I used this stick to try and break the ice and also remove any of the bigger pieces out of the water trough. Usually by then Willow's finished her food so it's time to collect up her bucket. I do this straight away because if not Bruno will probably start licking it and we don't want Bruno to have any of Willow's medication. That would not be ideal so once I've done that it's time to collect up the rest of the donkey's buckets and walk back to the stables. So the only plus side of it being sort of cold and icy on this particular day is that the fields are a little bit harder because as you can see here by the gate it gets so muddy especially when we've had a lot of rain. I also have to double check that I make sure I shut all of the gates correctly especially the donkey's gate because um, the latch can be a little bit difficult and if it's not on properly they will rub their butt against the gate or something like that and end up just wandering around 
opened our garden. So once I'm back at the stables with the buckets, it's then time to collect all of the other horses' buckets. So here I have Casper's purple one. And again, here's Mickey's bucket just randomly on the floor where he's kicked it out of his stable. And lastly, it's time to grab Joey's bucket as well. And then it's finally time to wash out all of the buckets again on this particular day. It was a bit icy so the hose pipe was still quite frozen so I didn't have a very strong jet of water <laughs> coming out. Usually it's a little bit better than that so they had a bit of a pathetic wash today. Sometimes if it's really bad I'll have to go to the house and grab some hot water from the kettle to put on things if they're frozen but they had a good enough wash so then it was time to put them all back into the feed room that was actually looking quite nice and tidy for once. Usually. The feed room can get very messy very quickly. Also, because it was so icy, I actually had to put some grit down on the hard standing sort of concrete area where the stables are because I was really worried about the horses going out into the field but on the way there slipping on the ice that was right outside their stables. So I just have some grit salt here that I'm shaking around and the horses were very interested in it. I think they thought it was food. After that, it's time to put up some Silvermore haylage nets because there isn't too much grass in the field. We kind of like to move move the horses in between each field that's why I've got some electric fence down the middle so it means that when one field gets really muddy and there's not much grass we can sort of interchange them at the moment we've been using the top paddock a little bit more just because the bottom paddock the water likes to drain into that area so it can get pretty boggy but because it was a very cold day um, the ground was a little bit more frozen so it meant it wasn't as squishy um, also we had recently just had a lot of storms so unfortunately the horse had to be kept in their stables a little bit more just for safety reasons because we had proper gale force winds rain everything so I decided this morning that I would lunge Joey not to like school him or anything like that because he did have a little bit of time yeah. off um, just to really let him blow off some steam because I know that if I hadn't have lunged him before putting him out in the field he would be bombing up and down the field doing all sorts of moves so this is just better and it's in a more controlled manner I haven't actually done too much lunging with Joey so we're still working on that a little bit but he was very good lastly we probably have the smelliest job mucking out so here I'm cleaning out Joey's stable my sort of method when it comes to mucking out is to pick up all of the droppings first and then go on to the wet shavings so today was actually the horses new shavings day um, they actually had pretty much new shavings almost every single day this week because of the storms and they had to be in a lot more which I really hate and makes me feel sad because I love seeing my horses out in the field and just being horses it's really important to me so here we have the most satisfying part kicking a new bale of shavings look at that you know you can't just use your fork to break it apart you have to give it a good run up and a boot as well so anyway here I'm just spreading it all about so Joey has a lovely comfy soft and clean stable for later this evening when they go in when it gets dark which is usually around 4 p.m. which is so sad because we just don't have any light in the winter I can't wait for spring and summer roll on that so lastly I just do a quick sweep of the stables just to make everything look a little bit neater so that is where my morning routine finishes sometimes I do some riding after this or editing or filming it really depends on the day so thank you so much guys for watching today's video I really hope you enjoyed it if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe so it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!